New week, new documenting the journey. Welcome back on this channel. I document my journey, building my brand, exchange life, and I share my thoughts that I had this week. This week I'm having less thoughts, or I mean less brand updates and more thoughts. But yeah, it isn't always that much changing for the brand, you know? And sometimes you're just thinking and doing other things. So yeah, let's start off with a win this week. I finally got a good shipping system. So as you know, as I've talked about, I'm setting up my own supply chain for some of my items and the shipping is really complicated. All the items are custom. So that also ties into the last for this week, which is that I made a whole like system in Google Sheets linked together and all of this shit, but it turned out to be a disaster that did not work at all. But now I think I finally solved it using an ERP and some other things and sheets still but less sheets <laughs> the more sheets you have linked together the more <laughs> things can go wrong and yeah so that is uh the win and the loss for this week hopefully uh, that is set up now so we yeah can keep going on a solid foundation that's it for the wins and the losses really the brand updates so also about the shipping system i realized that you know for me it is so important to now set up a solid back end a foundation for for scale you know so the front end can look very nice and it can all look very good and i've talked about this already but if you cannot fulfill the products or if you can cannot you know keep up with the expectations of the customer then it is still not good you know you can scale on the front end but it will be shit on the back end and you you eventually break your business so i'm really just working on that you know getting everything set up right really a solid foundation for the brand this is really like the number one bottleneck that i'm having right now to keep on growing is just to have a solid foundation and backend that is an update for the brand this week that's basically what i've been working on it's like the boring shit you know so that's why i don't have that much this week about the brand because it's like systems and processes and shipping and it's not fancy but it does make or break your brand you know so these are like things that you don't really want to work on or you don't really see on Twitter or anywhere but these are the things that you know can actually differentiate you as your brand and can make it work or can make it not work so yeah one more update about the brand is that I'm going to get even more high-end content for the products so my site looks great now everything works very well but um, I was talking with my friend and you know I can still level up the product pictures and content and really get some you know maybe professional photographers and models and things like this not too much because it isn't like a high-end jewelry kind of vibe that i'm trying to create for example for those products but higher level than it is now but we'll see how it goes it's constantly working i'm not sure yet how i will do that but i'll figure it out you know i'll figure everything out so that's really it about the brand this week, as I said, not many updates, more general updates or thoughts this week. This will be my last video at home. So next week I'll be out. And as I've talked about in many videos, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to get out. I'm really looking forward for new adventures and looking forward to meeting people and reconnecting. And yeah, I'm just this, you know, this grinding shit is like nice but it's not sustainable at all to be honest i've kind of realized that it is important and what i want to try and do is really do find a balance and the last year i've been so worried and stressed and focused and obsessed with not wanting to be a loser and wanting to make it work and i really decided that there's no other way for me to make it work. So I was basically obsessed until I would make it work. The, the only thing that was really on my mind was just why am I not making it work yet? I'm still a loser. I need to make it work. Like, you know, and that might not be the best thing, you know, especially now I'm really happy that I stayed at home for a couple of months because it really allowed me to take a step back and reflect on things. I probably learned more <laughs> in the past month than I have done in the past one and a half years when I left to Bali. And even though I documented it all, I wasn't being very reflect 
active or aware or all of these things in this period because I was so worried about this one thing. Like, I was so scared to be broke and so worried. And, you know, it's good, I guess, because I, m I made it work and I now have a solid foundation that I can build off. But it also takes, you know, a toll and maybe not the best or most ideal thing to do when you think about it because yeah there's just so many other things and just making it work it isn't just life and death and that's really how it felt like in my head for the past year and now i'm getting some breathing room i have room to reflect on things and kind of think about things and then i'm like why do i you know make it so hard for myself it's like really crazy and that allows me to now grow faster but yeah you all also hit a, a wall with your head thinking like questioning all of these different things and kind of realizing that there's so much other shit to it than than just trying to make it work because whether you take a year or two years you'll make it work but there is so much more to life you know and of course it's it's very important to make it work and to not be a loser and to do all of these things but for me yeah i can just get really locked up in the own echo chamber in my head and then now i really realized a lot of things and thought about a lot of things and yeah it's just good i guess to be more aware and in tune with yourself and <laughs> to not just be obsessed you know for instance i wrote down trying to figure out what my hobbies are or enjoy free time unwind kind of like think about things instead of just because the only thing i was thinking about was trying to make it work like that was that was all that was in my head that was i mean i made it such a life and death thing in my head and now i'm kind of getting some room i realize that it isn't like that but anyways this is a mistake you'll make probably and you'll have to make yourself and i make and things i realize and think about you only realize these things and learn so much by actually doing it and then thinking about it and then that's why i really enjoy taking a step back I, I think it's very important to not just always keep going let's say for instance i decided to take a step back go home from barcelona traveled for about a year and i could have said for example i've been traveling i don't want to move back home and things like this but taking that step back and going back home you know, made me realize and think about and grow and change a lot versus if I would have said, I don't want to go back home, I'm going to force myself to stay out. And if I would have done that, I would have probably had to keep clients for my agency or had to keep making money in a way that I don't like to make money. For instance, doing marketing for other people, which I really did not like to do. And then I would have probably kept in that mindset in that like hustle, I need to make it work. I need to be you know and then i would have probably never thought about all of these things and never really taken a step back and maybe even never made it work with my brand because i was so obsessed to not be a loser and to have to pay rent and things like this so taking that step back going back home made me realize to kind of slow down and think about things and how do i make the brand work now like there is no things i need to pay right now i can just everything that i've built up for the last year the little savings that i have i can just put in the brand and and then make it work you know so don't just always keep going i guess is the lesson here i'm probably rambling but don't take a step back even though you maybe don't want to or you want to keep living your life or exploring or traveling and i think at our age maybe you're young too it's so important to just also think about what you're doing because you can get so wrapped up in the hustle and bustle and if you never think about things then yeah you might e not even be doing the best thing for you or the best thing that you want to do or the best life that you can live so yeah that's <laughs> a lot of rambling from me but uh yeah it's it's that's that's what's been on my mind so that's what i'm sharing this week let's see if i wrote down anything more um don't get so obsessed in your own head that everything is about that it's not life and death which often feels like that in my head but it's not if you just keep going and don't stop you'll make it work 
that doesn't mean you cannot take a day off every week on Sunday, for example, or two days or three days or take a trip. This isn't the only way to make it work, even though you might think that. For me, I wanted to take a day off, but I just could not get my head, for example, away from me being a loser still. So even though I took a day off or I went there or I went here, I, I was just so, okay, I can do this now, but I feel like I don't deserve this yet. Or I feel like, and it's just crazy. It's not It's not like that, you know? It's it's not life and death. So also going back home really allowed me to be like grounded and kind of put things into perspective and get back into reality instead of just my own obsessed mind. But I guess it's needed, not everything. Yeah, but I guess it's needed. I wrote down, I guess it's just a time you go through and learn from. Um, yeah, so that's that's really what I wrote down. Last thing I wrote down was think versus feel. So this is like a very important one as well, I think, because maybe you notice from these videos, but I think a lot. And these past few months or maybe even since I started documenting the journey, I was thinking and rationalizing everything. Like, okay, this is how it works. This is what is this. This is what I'm doing. This is what I should do. This is what I should be doing. I was thinking and rationalizing everything. But I was kind of just like not feeling. I was just putting that somewhere away. Like, no, I don't want to feel because I need to make it work. And... I guess if I would have not taken a step back now, I would have hit a wall at some point and maybe exploded in some way. But allowing that step back made me realize these things and maybe, you know, prevent me feeling really bad or me going, you know, a bit crazy because I don't know what is what I feel anymore because I was just putting it away. I remember so clearly Christmas last year. I was so stressed out and I hated so much what I was doing with the agency. But I was like, well, fuck that. You know, it's not about how I feel. I just need to make money and I'm not making it work yet. And even though I feel very strange and weird, like I should just ignore that and keep going. And I guess I did pretty well keep keep going for about a year. But this def definitely was required. Like, for instance, I always had a in Bali and when I was you know just fucking grinding I at some point I always got like my eyes started hurting and it started tweaking I definitely pushed the limits a lot and this this was like an indication of you are really at your limits but I was like no like I don't want to you know be soft or I don't want to not make it work or and that is just you know it's good that I got through it but it is also good to realize that you can take a step back, which I did now. And I even, by taking this step back, I'm way further now than I am was these past months before, you know, when I was doing that. But I guess that was required to make these past few months here really work, for example. So it all makes sense in the end, you know. It, it's all supposed to go how it, it goes. But... Yeah, allow yourself to feel as well. Don't just get... That's the toxic mind, toxic hustle, I think, as well. Putting everything away and just caring about your hustle. It's toxic hustle and you you won't get anywhere by that, which <laughs> what I was literally doing for a year. So I'm looking forward to finding, you know, more balance and more fun things and more enjoyment instead of just my own stressed head, which I guess was required as well to get here but yeah it just you learn you live and you learn and you you realize new things and i definitely learned so much in this past few months way more than i did in the last one and a half years because i was just not feeling you know not feeling not think i was thinking but not really reflecting and yeah that, that that's just basically it for this week i don't know th this is a lot of rambling maybe you like it maybe you don't I'm just really looking forward to the next period and yeah, to kind of get back to it and really enjoy it as well. Enjoy the ride. It's a good part in The Alchemist where the, there is a king and he gives the boy a silver spoon and he puts oil on it and then he asks the boy to 
walk around the palace and come back without having dropped the oil. And then he does that and he comes back and then the king asks him, but how do you like the palace? And the boy says, well, I don't know because I was focused on not dropping the oil. And then the king said, all right, so now walk around the palace and look around and don't focus on the oil. And then he comes back and he dropped the oil. So then the king said, where is the oil? And he said, well, I was looking at the palace. And the point is that you need to sit in between. So look at the oil, don't drop it. So focus on what you need to focus on, work, but also look around and realize where you are at. Realize everything that's happening around you, feel. Sometimes pause and look around yourself and then, okay, so this is what I like about what I'm doing right now. This is what I don't, this is how I want to change things. This is what I think about these things. And then you can keep going and really go somewhere while also, I guess, enjoying the ride and realizing things. And there's so much more to realize than just making it work, making money. There's people, there is all of, there's so many different things that you might neglect easily if you are just focused on the oil. You know, friends, family, relationship, ev all of these things. It is supposed to be a balance. And if you only focus on one, that it's just not what's fun or what will make it work in the long term because you will make it work anyways it's just yeah it's just gonna be be a ride you know anyways this is my rambling for this week i hope you guys enjoyed it kind of a look into my head less about the brand like i said yeah if you want to come along with my journey my realizations and my <laughs> my rambling and thoughts hopefully it wasn't too much then subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next week